Hey guys, does your ESP8266 or D1 Mini continually reboot? If you look at the serial monitor, does it throw some kind of exceptions? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can fix that, how you can identify where in the code the problem is. If you're seeing something like this in your serial monitor in the uh, Arduino IDE, then you've got an exception that's being thrown. Where in the code is the exception being thrown? That's what this tool is going to help you figure out. If you'll pull up a browser and if you'll search on ESP exception decoder, you'll find uh, a tool that you can download. It's a jar file and you can install it in your Arduino or IDE. There's instructions there. It's not hard. So what I have done so that we can see this, I have written a little script here. And what I've done is created a pointer to some random memory, and then I want to free that memory. Obviously not something that you want to be able to do or, or want to do. That's an error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the serial monitor, and there we see it's throwing all these exceptions. I'm going to stop the auto scroll. I am going to go where it says cut here for the exception decoder. That's what we just installed. I'm going to hit control C. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go over to the IDE. And now that I've installed it, and you've installed it, you'll have this ESP exception decoder underneath your tools. Click it, go ahead and paste in what you just took from the serial monitor, and look what you get. You get something that's kind of explaining. It's basically a nicer stack trace showing you all the calls. And notice this. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. If we look down, there's my loop. These are all part of the standard library. You got malloc and you know all that kind of good stuff going on there. But look at this. Forced exception dot ino. That's my file. Line 17. If we go down to line 17, there is the error. It's the free. I'm freeing a pointer to memory I didn't allocate. So boom, now I can fix it. So now you have the tools. Install the ESP exception decoder. Start using it. It'll make your life a lot easier. Hey, learn something new every day. Take it easy.